Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking a bit about the new Black Artist Collaboration for October from Erin Condren. So um, these are just like a few of the notebooks that I sent over to me for the first collaboration they came out with. And um, these are all the notebooks that are actually available as covers as well. So you can buy them on their own too if you're not needing an entire notebook and you just want a cover for your planner. And so these are a few of them. The others are like actually on my planners and notebooks that are all elsewhere in my home. Alright, so these are those. For these notebooks that um, I went ahead and reviewed last time, I'll go ahead and link the video for that here so you can go ahead and see that review. But all of these covers and notebooks are actually still available on the EC site. And um, just like we mentioned before, the profits are going to be split 100% between the artist and the social justice organization of their choice. And that is not going to change for this new collection. And here it is. So here's one of the covers for the new collaboration. Um, I'm so glad I got this one actually because this is actually one of my favorite covers that I've seen from the few sneak peeks they've been putting in their stories and sending out to affiliates. So I'm really excited about this one. And it's actually going to be sold as a cover also on the website. So I'll be adding more details in the description below with links where, where you can purchase these if you're interested. And it actually comes with a rose gold coil, which is super cool because I think with the other notebook from the last collection is the only rose gold coil EC item that I own, which actually really complements this cover well. And um, if you're like a neutral planner, it seems like this is going to be the neutral notebook. And it's got the same whiteboard cover like inside, front, and the back on there also. So this is just going to be a classic line notebook. This is white college ruled and the pages are perforated as usual. So I say this is probably the neutral cover um, notebook of the line because the EC logo you have on each page is actually still going to be gray instead of it being like colored. Um, I actually don't know where I have the other notebooks, but some of the ones I have like this logo here will actually change colors like every page or every few pages. But here it stays that same gray scale throughout. And then you also get the usual sticker book at the end, so you get this neutral label color sheet. And I love using these actually since I will use these for taking notes for my lectures. Like I'll go ahead and watch them take my notes and like condense them. I'll use these kind of like to split up between like to write actually which lecture they came from. It just makes it easier for me to like separate out my notes so it's not just a constant stream of writing. So this is going to be one of the notebooks and um, same with the cover that will be on sale on October 22nd on the Erin Contra website. So once that happens, I'll make sure to put the link in the description for you so you can go ahead and check this out along with all of the awesome other covers and notebooks that are going to be available and you can go ahead and order yours. So uh, this cover is called Broken to Beautiful and it's designed by Roma Asoa and you can follow her on her Instagram handle which I'll put on the screen here. And just more about her, um, she's actually a Texas-based professional abstract artist and she's from the British Islands and she loves to put a lot of rich vibrant colors on a lot of her work. And the proceeds from this cover and notebook will be split between her and the Equal Justice Initiative. Now, as I mentioned before, there's going to be four more covers that will be going on sale along with these notebooks on the Erin Condren website on October 22nd. And they all benefit either Mental Health Collective, um, Equal Justice Initiative with this one, Black Mamas Who Matter, and Black Emotional and Mental Health Collective, or BEAM. So for the other four covers, um, the other cover you see now, Your Future is Brighter Than You'll Ever Know, is actually by Chibia Uluma, who is a Nigerian-American lettering artist born in Portland, Oregon, and she loves putting color and uplifting others with her art. And 100% of the profits from her cover and notebook will be split between her and Black Emotional and Mental Health. The BEAM organization supports providing the right emotional and mental health tools just to different minority underserved communities. This third cover is called Just Bring It by Amanda Reed. She's an artist, instructor, and owns her own design company. She's also the founder of Calligraphers of Color. And her cover will be benefiting Equal Justice Initiative, working with marginalized communities to change the narrative about race and criminal justice in America. And this fourth cover is called The Promise by Tara Michelle Nixon. And she's a Florida-based digital illustrator and author inspired by the strength of her matriarchal family. And she studied language and literature. And she is author of a lot of different narratives and language about Black women throughout countenance, stance, hair, dressing, and things like that. 
The profits from her cover and notebooks will be split between her and Black Mamas Matter in support of providing equal attention, dignity, and health care for Black mothers. And the fifth cover that will be coming out with this new Black Eyes collaboration is called Full Expression of Joy by Rachel Lenita Bellamy. And she started her company, Soul Rain, to create a lot more education experiences and excursions that actually facilitate emotional, spiritual, and cultural healing through art. And her profits will be going towards BEAM and they support emotional and mental health healing in Black communities. So along with that collaboration, Easy actually sent these other really cool items, especially since I considered getting this monthly sticker book and decided that I was going to do a no spend and I didn't go for it. So I'm so excited to actually have one too. And um, these gel pens too, because I've never purchased any like Erin Condren writing utensils. I think the first time I've had any pens from them is like the pens I got from the fall surprise box. Then um, those were really good in my EC notebooks. So these are just designer gel pens, which comes in a little useful case you could travel with. Just for a quick pen test, because half the reason I don't order these pens is sometimes I'm like not even sure how they're right on paper. Um, I felt like the way they look with my notes, my plans. So let's see. So it looks like, maybe because I just opened, oh, here we go. I think that happened just because I just opened these. And, oh, even doing swipe tests, these don't really, like, smear much, like, at all. Because if I keep, like, writing and usually like, swipe right after, you get, like, a little bit of smearing, but not a whole lot and it actually writes pretty thin like a lot more thin than i thought it would which is cool beans and the paper takes up ink really well so if you got those pens in the seasonal surprise box these are going to be a lot more thin i'm not sure exactly what like the millimeter size is like if you're trying to compare it to like a pilot g2 is it like 0 0.7 0 0.5 um it actually doesn't say on here um it just says it like, comes with red jade navy purple and black colors to use so I'm hoping these all right the same i think it's just if you just pull it out of the box it'll actually take a minute for it to write clearly but these are all pretty good colors so i'm excited to get to use these and they also sent over a plain pack so i know a bunch of people love using these because I mean, you put it on your planner and you travel with it, like that's half the reason you have one. But for me, um, since I've gotten Aaron Conjure Planner, I, it's been, I got it during like quarantine, etc. So I haven't really been going to school with it, like at all. I've only really been to campus once to print. So um, this is really fun. I haven't had a chance to even think about ordering one of these because I mostly just travel in the house with my stuff and if I do need to like just use my utensils like downstairs, upstairs, wherever, I'll usually just use um this pencil pouch that I think is still available on the EC website because you can personalize it with your name and I chose the layers colorful but they've got like the neutral, the wildflowers, etc. Um, but this is really cool beans because I get to try it out. So but, so I think this is just supposed to go. Oh, it's got a back pocket too. Wow, it's really soft inside. That's so fun. So this actually really does feel like leather. Like um, if you have a moleskin notebook, um, like one of Juicy's plain moleskin notebooks, it's comparable in feel, except of course the planner pack is a little bit softer. I'm supposed to just slide on. To the front of your planner see seeing these i was kind of skeptical like i know it's gonna fit but i felt like it would stretch a little too much and like bend my cover a lot but um it looks like it's really not bending it like much at all and it is a pretty perfect fit on the front so what fits inside so basically all of like the gel pens they put i'm wondering oh, what a Tombow marker for in. Okay, y'all. My double-sided Tombow markers fit in the planning pouch also, which is kind of wild because if you use them, you know that they're pretty long. You kind of just have to push it in there. But 
This is a pretty high capacity thing. I kind of put post-its in there too. It gets a little bit like bulky, of course, depending on what you're putting inside, but it all fits inside and it's like not really forced in there, not really like straining to close. No, the stitching is coming up and it fits perfectly. So I will probably get to using this actually. I really like this. So one other really fun thing that they sent over with that collaboration is the Designer Sticker Book Monthly Collection Edition 5, which is so exciting because I considered trying out this sticker book, but um, I don't know, I just, I've always been kind of like hesitant to actually go for it. Um, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to use monthly stickers or if I was going to prefer to like get a kit, like try that out. I feel like I'm more recently getting into a little bit more decorative planning, but like for the most part, I'm a functional planner, but I'm excited to try these out. So um, this is edition five. So they actually just came out with edition six, which is supposed to be like correlate with like the 2021 planners. But um, from what I've seen from the flip throughs online, like reviews, the edition five is actually pretty similar to edition six. Um, so let's dive in. So this is January. So of course it's got like the same metallic sticker sheet with some washi strips. Like functional flag because it's in for the new year and i think this is the same kind of deal in edition six as well it's just certain stickers um like it might not be hats it might be something else pertaining to the new year that's still super fun here's february i love that these all have like metallic foiling on them and of course green is my favorite color so i don't see myself not using this page at the very least if i like even if I don't use anything else, I feel like if you're not interested in all this decorative stuff, maybe I'd probably use this on a dashboard page and not the month itself. Since I use the academic planner primarily and I'm kind of just trying out the vertical one life planner myself now, um, I most I have the dashboard page, but not a lot of like the other page where it's split into 12 and like people put a box for each month. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So since I do use the academic planner and not really the life planner. I don't have these pages in the planner that I primarily use. I'm thinking about using it in here. Um, I just don't want to just try to fill up pages for the sake of filling up pages and then it like stresses me out even if I don't need them. But I do have this kind of page in my academic planner. So I'll probably put these on that page and just talk about like there's a page like this, but then it has like goals, um, major events coming up, and like projects. Um, but I know a lot of people love using these for each month and then putting these stickers on there as well with these on their actual monthly view for like the month that matches the holiday. There is so quick flip through. This is April. Got May. And do oh my god, my birthday month and still my favorite green color. Here's July, August, September, October. Oh, spooky season! Oh, it's too late for me to use these. November and. December. Oh, I really love these two. So since October's already started, like I've done my monthly layout for that, I'll probably consider putting November and December in my academic planner now. Since I always get a planner that goes from like August to July of the next year, for me it would make more sense to like go ahead and start using this now instead of waiting for like a new planner in January because then I'd always be like off with this book and like half a planner but like not the other half. That makes sense but that is the whole monthly edition 5 sticker book and this is still available on the ec website if you wanted to order um i think this one and the edition 6 are about 15 dollars, but they're both really similar so it just comes down to preference of like the actual stickers inside for what you wanted to get but this is a lot of fun so thanks a million for watching this video if you like what you see here you can go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification whenever i release 
new videos just like this one and let me know in the comments are you excited for notebooks like these and this new black artist collection and which ones are you excited to order and if you do decide to purchase one of these notebooks or covers just know that the profits are split between the artist and the social justice organization of their choice and also i'll put some affiliate links in the description box below and know that if you do use those affiliate links it does not add any cost to your purchase it just really helps us like people like me and any other affiliates for erin conjuring to kind of just put out awesome content like this and get to show you a preview of these products before they launch so you can already have your cart ready and know what you're going to go for before they're sold out so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time